Good morning. It's good to be with you again this morning. Just want to come and um, just um, share a little word that hopefully will bring encouragement to you uh, um, as you face your day today and or bring encouragement to us all, I hope and pray. Um, while I was praying, um, the word what, what came to me as I was praying yesterday about what I should share this morning, because I normally just pray and ask God and I just feel God quicken something to my heart to share. And what actually came to me um, was the word both hands, you know, both hands in the sense of when I'm saying both hands, that that we that about using both hands, the importance of using both hands, and um, you know we often need to use both hands to achieve a lot of things in our lives, and there's probably a, an enormous list of of things that we, uh, you know, I can I could mention that that we use our hands for, but I've I've chosen not to mention loads of them. But some of the ways that we can use our hands is um, to both hands is when we drive, we should use both our hands to drive. with. I know some people are a bit naughty sometimes and they only use one hand, but we're meant to use two hands if we're driving. Um, if we're cycling, we need to use two hands to hold on to the bike, both, you know, the handlebars. Again, I've seen people without their hands on the handlebars and I just think oh, I wouldn't do it, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> And I, I did um, a course in woodwork many years ago and quite often with uh, some of the, you know, the items I was making, I often had to use both my hands in the woodwork to use the different um, tools I had there. And if somebody is a mechanic and they're working on, on a vehicle, they're working on an engine or they're working on a car, Quite often they they will have to use um, two hands to do that. Occasionally they might just use one hand if they're using a spanner or something, but normally it's two. And, and if we're cooking, um, you know, quite often we need to use two hands, um, especially if we're kneading the dough or, you know, um, you know, rolling out pastry and that kind of thing. We need to use two hands. And I was thinking about art and craft. Now with art, sometimes you do just use one hand to paint with, but if you're doing crafts, um, you normally quite often with crafts you need two hands I was thinking if you you know if you're um, making like a, 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 cl a pot of clay you're on the you're on the you know the the wheel and it's going around and around you need two hands to start to um, manipulate and get the, the pot to, to mold into the shape that you want it to go and I was thinking too that that if, if we have a le heavy load if we have a box that's really heavy and we need to pick it up we can't just pick it up with one hand we need to use both hands to pick up that heavy load because you wouldn't it would just you just would it would drop down otherwise and i was thinking of when our children uh, were young i don't think we could do it now but when they were young they used to come running towards us and you know they're running towards us and our response was to bend down and pick them up with both hands and lift them up high and give them a cuddle and give them a kiss and that sense of you know of lifting up with two hands you you i suppose maybe you might have been able to have done it with one but we always use two for the security and for the, the safety aspect so I'm sharing this morning a lot of ways that we can use both hands because I feel that's what God has been putting on my heart. He's asking me to give example of, of us using both hands. And if somebody's doing sign language, normally they need to use two hands for that. Um, our hands are a vital part of our body as a lot is done with our hands. And, and, and you know something else I was thinking this morning too about if you're trying to balance something, um, I don't know if... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we used to have a, a game and it was called Jenga. I think that's what it was called. And it was these big, long like pieces of like uh, wood. They were like a uh, rectangular and you had to build them. You had to put them down and you had to build up um, you know, like a tower, build up, build up high. And you would the idea was when it started to get high, you had to really use your hands to balance. And the idea was that it wouldn't fall down. You'd see it sway and you think, oh, I've got a balance here. So again, it's it's the two hands that are needed. Using both hands can mean putting more effort and strength and force into something. The word, the word God has put on my heart this morning is use both hands, not just one. And I'm not just talking about physically, I'm talking about spiritually again. I like to you know, use, a, use a physical example and come into um, you know, the spiritual example of what God is putting on my heart. Yes, it is important to use both, both hands physically, but God wants us to use both hands spiritually. How, how do, what am I saying? What do I mean by that? Well, God wants us to lift up our hands in praise to him. You know, we can lift up our hands in praise, lift up both our hands in praise, you know, in, in total surrender, in total worship, in, in, in just showing him how much he is awesome and how much we love him. That's the first thing. We can lift up our hands and our hearts to the Lord. So it's it's that sense of not just our hands, but our hearts. We're lifting up our hearts to God in worship, our hands and our hearts. Two very important things, our hands and our hearts to the Lord, because we want, we want him to be in the centre of our hearts. We want to show him how much we love him. We want to show him how much we worship him. And then... 
both we can we can lift up both hands in prayer some people put their hands together to pray we can lift up our hands in prayer to God and pray to him I just I just find when I'm praying quite often I'll lift up my hands or I'll, I'll go like this or I'll put them together because I for me it just I just feel that's that's just what I'm, I'm being inspired to do that's what's stirring up in my spirit to do we can lift up our hands to the Lord and we can also clap our hands to rout the enemy clap our hands to rout the enemy do you know Routes, right, is a disorderly retreat following defeat, an overwhelming defeat. And as we as we rout, as we clap our hands and speak out the name of Jesus, we defeat the enemy. We defeat the powers and principalities. And there is an overwhelming sense of victory. So we can use our hands to clap. We can use our hands, you know, to praise. We can use our hands to lift up to Jesus and we can um, lift up, as I said, both hands to carry. We can carry people spiritually. We can help them spiritually. We can help them in so many ways. We can carry people. And both hands too, we can use if we're praying for people for healing. You know, if I'm praying for people, I don't necessarily put my hands on them, um, but I just hold up my hands to them like this because I feel God is, is saying, hold up your hands and pray for them. And, and I'm just praying for healing for them. So I've been saying a lot of things this morning about God, the word God gave me using both hands. And um, I just want to uh, share some passages of scripture with you that actually talk about what I'm saying this morning. Because again, I, whatever I'm saying, I, you know, I've gone to the word of God and I found it in the word of God. So um, 1 Timothy, 1 Timothy um, 2, 8. This is what 1 Timothy 2, 8 says. I want men everywhere to lift up holy hands in prayer without anger or dispute. So, you know, th this is the, talking about the instructions of worship and it, the Lord is saying every, 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 I want men everywhere to lift up holy hands in prayer without anger or disputing. And I suppose in some respects, how can we lift up holy hands if we've got anger in our hearts and if we're, if we've got disputes and things that are going on in our lives, we need to come and get right with God and then we can lift up holy hands to him, you know, in, in full worship and adoration to him. And I just thought that was a very important passage. And then I'm just going to go back over to my favourite ones uh, this morning, to the to the Psalms, because I just love um, the Psalms so much, as I'm always telling you that. And uh, this morning I've got um, a little a little verse in Psalm 134, and it's verse two. Psalm 134, verse two, and it says, "Lift up your hands, lift up your hands um, in the sanctuary and praise the Lord." Lift up your hands in a sanctuary and praise the Lord. And it glorified God. It's talking about glorifying God, lifting up our hands. Well, we don't need to just lift up our hands in the sanctuary. We can lift up our hands anywhere to the Lord in praise and in worship to him. And if we do that, it just starts to have an effect on our lives. It draws us closer to the Lord. We feel nearer to him. And I'm just going to find another passage now as I'm talking to you. Um, this is another one that I found uh, this morning. As, and I've just got quite a few and I'll try and read them out. I'm not trying not to take too long reading them out. Lamentations 3, 41. Lamentations 3, 41. This um, says, uh, lift, let's, let us lift up our hearts and our hands to God in heaven. And it, before it goes on, before in verse 40, it says, let us examine our ways and test them and return to the Lord. Let us lift up our hearts and hands to God in heaven. So that sense of, you know, we need to examine, our, examine ourselves and just come to God and if there's things that we need to put right with God, we need to put right with him, we, we can pray, God can help us. And it's out of that, that total surrender and, 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 and us yielding, yielding ourselves to God that we put up our hands to him in praise and worship. And I'm just going to go back to the, um, to the Psalms again. Another Psalm. I just felt this is a lovely one. So all these scriptures I'm sharing are related to what I was saying earlier on. Um, so, you know, lifting up both hands in prayer was the Timothy one. Lifting up hands in praise was the Psalm 1432. Uh, the Lamentations ones was lifting up our hands and our hearts. And this one I'm going to read, Psalm 47, 1 to 9, is talking about clapping hands. So I'll read this out to you. This is Psalm 100, this, sorry, this is Psalm 47. We're talking about clapping our hands. Remember I said it, if we clap our hands, it, routes the, it can rout the enemy. And, and uh, the powers and principalities can be defeated as we um, clap our hands and lift up the name of Jesus. Clap your hands, all you nations. Shout to God with cries of joy. How awesome is the Lord, most high, the great king over all the earth. He subdues nations under us, people under our feet. He chose our inheritance for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loved. God has ascended amid shouts of joy and the Lord amid the sound of trumpets. Sing praises to God, sing praises, sing praises to our King, sing praises. 
for God is the king of all the earth. Sing to him a psalm of praise. God reigns over the nations. God is seated on his holy throne. The nobles of the nations assemble and the people of, of, of God, of Abraham. For the king of the earth, kings of the earth belong to God. He is greatly exalted. What, what a wonderful psalm that is. What a wonderful psalm, isn't it? You know, so we can clap our hands, we can express our joy. We can um, sing to God most high, he's our sovereign God. He's a God of power. He's a God of love. Um, he's a God of might. He's, he's our King of kings and Lord of lords. And we are his people and we want to exhort him and praise him today. So I hope what I'm actually sharing is, uh, you know, is speaking to you today. And the last um, passage that I had uh, was a promise from, from God about you know, being carried, carrying us. Remember I was saying in my talk that um, you know, both hands, we can, you know, we can carry people, we can help them. And this is in um, Isaiah 63, 9. Isaiah 63, 9. And it says, in all, their in all their distress, he too was distressed. And the angel of his presence saved them. In his love and mercy, he redeemed them. He lifted them up and he carried them all the days of old. And isn't that wonderful? You know, he, he, he picked them up and he carried, he picks us up and he carries us. It's wonderful. We know God's divine presence. We know his love. We can know his comfort and his care. And so I just hope that what I've been sharing has been touching you and speaking to you today. So both hands, praying for God, thanking God. We use them. We can lift them up to the Lord today. And so, Lord, I do just want to come with this little message that you've placed on my heart today. Father, I just thought you were saying... Just, just just, remind us of, of the power and strength that we have in both hands. And I think yesterday I was talking about holding on to, holding on to somebody's hand, that grip, that, that holding on. Um, you know, somebody can hold on to your hand and, and, and you can keep up with them and, and, and they can help you. They can give you the strength from their hand. They can support you. I do just pray, Father, as I'm sharing this little word today, that you would touch hearts and lives and that you would just um, speak to people through this word. That as, as folk lift up their hands to you, as they lift up their hearts, uh, as they clap, as they, they, they do all the things that I've, I've spoken about in this message, and, and maybe you'll show us more things we, we, you want us to do, that we will just know that, that closeness to you, we'll know that victory, we'll know, we'll know that touch from your spirit today, Lord God, because we don't want to stay where we are, but we want to move on. And we want to be closer to you, Lord. Um, I just thank you that we can be closer to you. You know, the Bible says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. And we want to draw near to you, God, um, because we, we just want to draw near to you because we want you to draw near to us. And we just love you so much, Lord. We don't want to stay where we are. Just, just bless this day, I pray. Um, Lord, just bless the folks that are watching. I pray for your, your blessing on them and their, their families. And Lord, I just thank you, Father, for what you're doing in our lives. And we give you praise and glory and honour, because you are worthy. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll be back at 10 o'clock tomorrow and I'll post this on, so um, if, you know, you'll be able to watch it again if you want to, or get other people to watch it. But sending you lots of love. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye for now. Bye.